Hello, my dear student. I am Krishna Kumar. Today we start a lesson pressure. First, we see here pressure increase with depth. The deeper into a liquid you go, the greater the weight of liquid above and the higher pressure means when we go deeper into the liquid as in any container then the pressure of the liquid is increases as we go in depth so pressure of the liquid is depend on the depth of the liquid the pressure depends on the density also of the liquid the more denser the liquid the higher the pressure at any particular depth as we see in this figure there is a two kind of the liquid one is oil another one is water oil is less denser than the water and that's why there will be the pressure exerted at the same depth will be the difference as the oil has the less pressure exert in the same depth as in compared to the water in water the pressure is exert is higher than the oil as in the same depth now the pressure does not depend on the shape of the container as we take any kind of the container of any shape then this one is not the matter of the shape or width the pressure at any particular depth is the same whenever we go in any water body as like the ocean or in river or in pond where we go the depth is the matter for the pressure not the volume of the water now we see the atmospheric pressure atmospheric pressure is the pressure of air around us atmospheric pressure is due to the weight of air and as well as we go up then the pressure is decreases because the density of air in our surrounding is decreases the weight of an air column of the height of the atmosphere and area 10 by 10 cm is as large as 100 kg so here so that the how the pressure is exert on the column atmospheric pressure is the pressure of the air the atmosphere is the layer of air in enveloping the earth it extends up to 1000 km above the surface and has a total mass of 4.5 into 10 power 2 kg this one is the approximate weight of the air in our surrounding the pressure inside our body is almost the same as the external pressure and so balances it and that's why when we are in uh, when we are on the earth then there will be no any kind of the pressure exert by us but whenever we go at the high altitude where the pressure is low breathing is difficult nose bleeding may occur as a result from the pressure difference between the body and the external pressure so that as well as we go up the pressure difference is caused and our internal body pressure remains the same but the pressure of the air will be decreases and that's why due to the di difference in the pressure of our body and the atmospheric pressure it will be caused to rupturing of the blood vessels and causes the bleeding from our nose and the ears we all use the atmospheric pressure in our daily activities first we see here the use of syringe when the piston is pulled up the atmosphere pressure inside the cylinder will decreases the atmospheric pressure outside pushes the liquid up into the series and that's why due to difference in the pressure inside the series and outside the series the 
atmospheric pressure in our surrounding that will be act on the liquid and give the pressure applied the pressure and push the liquid into the syringe and that's why the liquid is entered into the syringe in very easy way the second things we see here the straw use of the straw when a person suck through the straw the pressure in the straw become low because the air is removed out from the straw and that's why the air pressure in the straw becomes the low but the atmospheric pressure outside which is higher will force the water into the straw and consequently into the mouth and that's why the water is pushes into the straw due to the atmospheric pressure which exerted by the surrounding on the surface of the liquid of the container and so that the cold drink juice or any kind of the liquids which we drink that will be easily entered into the straw the vacuum cleaner is one kind of the device which is used for clean our the floor when a vacuum cleaner is switched on it sucks out the air inside the cleaner causes the pressure inside the cleaner become low and that's why when we start the vacuum cleaner we switch on the vacuum cleaner then the pressure inside the vacuum cleaner become low due to uh, air is come out from the vacuum cleaner the atmospheric pressure which is higher in magnitude forces the air and the dust particles into the cleaner and that's why the dust particles of our floor start to enter into the vacuum cleaner and clean our floor and this one is the use of the vacuum cleaner in our daily activities by the use of atmospheric pressure thank you for watching my video have a nice day thanks